Welcome to the assignment uh, personal web desktop. It's this application that I'm actually inside of right now. Uh, this application uh, is something you will build uh, uh, starting now. So what is it? It's a, we have uh, called it personal web desktop. It's a, it's a web application. It's a single page application uh, which will uh, open Windows and I will show you how that is done. So if we take a look at this application, this is uh, made a couple of years ago by another student. So some of the demands uh, that we had back then are not um, required today. Uh, and we have added some, some demands uh, or requirements to, to the application. Uh, but see this as a demo so you know kind of what to do. Um, first of all, this is a window handling system, like the window I'm in right now. Um, we can open, for instance, memory games. And memory is one of the requirements we have for this application. You should be able to open memory games and start new memory games. So we could like start a couple like this and we can play those games independently of each other um, and if you have already uh, done the assignment uh, memory assignment then hopefully you should be able to implement this quite easy uh, uh, in your windows that you will create uh, further on uh, or Let's talk about the windows, actually. Uh, you should be able to open multiple windows uh, like this. You should be able to drag them around inside of this environment uh, and let them go like that. And you should be able to close them as well. Uh, in this case, the student has implemented some extra features like you can minimize and uh, I think, yeah, you have all the memory games like right here. So the one I minimized, I can open again. That's an added functionality. Uh, uh, this student has as well implemented some kind of context menu that you could make some, this is in Swedish, but you can make some, uh, um, uh, you can edit how, how big the, the, uh, the memory should be and stuff like that. Um, you should have windows like this. They should be visually appealing and you should have like an icon, uh, corresponding to the icon used to, to start the application. Uh, as I said, you should be able to have multiple ones. Uh, in this case, I think Thomas who made this also made them stackable. So when I open several at once, they like continue like this and hopefully they will bounce as well. Ooh, does it work? Oh well, finally they bounced. So. Uh, this is one way. Whoa, they went under me. I destroyed the illusion, right? So back again. Um, and um, uh, this is not a demand, but uh, something you could do if you like. Uh, another application that you sh should have is this uh, chat application. Whoa, I will reload the page. No, I won't, because then I will... Oh well, I try. Hop, back again. So, let's get on with the chat. So, we are going to implement a WebSocket chat that is um, uh, using WebSockets to communicate with others, making this assignment as well, in real time. Uh, there are no caching on the server, so old messages won't be saved anywhere unless you save them in, uh, in in the browser in some way like local storage or something like that um, which could be the case so um, uh, we should of course be able to open multiple chats as well and um, when I write something in one chat uh, uh, this message will be posted to the server and the server will echo out this message to all uh, connected chat applications so if uh, a classmate or some some someone making this assignment right now and have this open uh, if that happens uh, our message will be sent to, to all that are uh, connected to the server so we could just try it out to see how fa fast it will be so if I write hello uh, looks like it's instantaneously 
shows up in this chat window, but actually I send a, send a message from from this uh, this application and send it to the server. Uh, we get a response or get a message back from the server, and then it it's then the uh, the message shows up in uh, those chat uh, chat windows. Uh, so this is a chat you will do. You, of course, you could build upon this how much you want. Uh, we have added some uh, features you could add uh, in the requirements. So you could add like um, implement something like uh, uh, emojis or. Uh, making uh, making it so that you can write JavaScript code uh, to share code uh, using this application. You could, of course, make it so that you can change your name. Um, like in my case, I I could change this from. Oh, I think I've actually it's hard coded somewhere, but I could change it to Nissa. And if I do that, of course, all my messages should say Nissa. But it does not because I uh, took a shortcut on that one just for be a being able to, to record this demo. Um, and yeah, and of course, you should be able to have as many chat messages, message windows as you like, and everybody should be probably uh, be in sync. Blop, and it shows up in everyone. Uh, and please talk to your uh, classmates. Talk to uh, using uh, Slack or something and talk to them uh, together. You can decide like how, how can we build upon this WebSocket solution? What kind of uh, extra features do we like? You're supposed to add one extra feature to the memory and one extra feature to the chat. That is not a requirement. So you, you need to come up with something. Uh, more than that, you also need to add one application more. You should have three applications and the third application you can decide for your own what you like. You could do something like this, like a video, kind of HTML5 video player if you like, or YouTube uh, video player or something like that. You could uh, implement uh, another game if, you, if, you, if you're into that. You could maybe make a drawing program uh, using Canvas. Um, you can implement some core kind of RSS reader to, to be able to, to read and aggregate news. Um, basically, the sky is the limit. You could do whatever you like, uh, but you should do something. And please do, do something more than, oh, not that one. Uh, do something more than just an about box because that's not that fun. Uh, be creative. Uh, speaking about grades, uh, of course, uh, we premiere uh, your creativity as well uh, visually as well as behind the scenes in the code. Uh, you don't need to add a lot of functionality if you work a lot with code organization. Uh, that could be features in itself that you, in some cases we have uh, had uh, someone trying to, to load application because say, let's say we have like 200 applications Okay, we need to rebuild the menu. This type of menu won't work. We need maybe some kind of search to search for an application. But of course, we cannot download all of those applications when the application starts because that might be several hundred megabytes of data uh, in those applications. Then we need some kind of clever system that loads the application when the user clicks them. So for instance, when I click the memory, if I haven't run it already in the browser, when I click it, the memory game will be downloaded to the browser and after that executed. Uh, and you need some way of doing that. That's a brilliant feature if you like to implement that. Some students have uh, uh, been discussing if it's able to, you should even be able to, to publish your application on GitHub and the application will uh, download the application from GitHub and, and start it from there. That would be a super nice feature. You could all, together with other classmates, you could uh, you could agree upon how to do this, so you can load each other's application. That that would be super super nice to 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 watch a solution for that. So please feel free to explore. I mean. You have the time for this examination. You have, have the time to explore and please take the time to explore. It's actually, I, I'm, I'm quite biased, but 
this application is quite fun to develop actually uh, it's it's uh, it's visually appealing it's uh, fun to be able to build several applications in one application it's quite easy to to if if you'll, you if you're into this more uh, classical object oriented uh, um, era of of talking about types like classes you could almost identify all the classes like we have a desktop we have a window uh, class we have a, maybe a, a class that inherits from window so we have the the, the 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 window class and the, the memory inherits from the window class because it have uh, added functionality and stuff so you, you can there there is there are a lot of interesting things to talk about regarding this application but now i I hope you th know how this is supposed to work. And I mean, this drag and drop stuff, uh, uh, it's, it's not like you're using something built into the browser, like uh, uh, opening new windows in the browser. Those are, of course, the DOM objects that you make draggable in, in some way. Um, you're allowed to use libraries and stuff, but not for, for, for that functionality. You're, you're, you could use the one that it's called jQuery core for instance if you want easier ADX handling or something like that but not for the drag and drop if you're if if you don't know if something is allowed please contact uh, the course management then we will we will respond quickly to what is okay and what is not so please have fun <laughs>